What's up, guys? So some of you, if you're running into uh, the pink or purplish or purplish pink, I'm colorblind. It all looks it's it's not the it's it's not the texture. Uh, you probably have well, actually, you have your textures in a different place or you may have moved the file. So I am downloading thing. I downloaded the Kitbash 3D versions. Uh, the the version five where they finally gave us blend files uh, and I have to re-download all of my kits. So within my asset browser folder, I have my Kitbash asset browser or K KB3D asset browser. I'm going to add this asset library right now. I also have a separate one to where when I download, I just put the assets over there and I'll show you this in a second. So I'm going to add the asset library there it is right there oh <laughs> let's try this again i have to actually add that and then hit accept like a normal person uh <laughs> so there it is okay let's just save and load all right so uh now i'm going to show you that i have this is an entire, if I go back to public, I have what's called my Kitbash 3D folder, which contains, I have two uh, folders in here so far. I have the, they got the free mission to Minerva Blender file, and it has the, in the Neo City Blender file. So I'm gonna go into the Neo City. Now, Kitbash 3D, it says KB3D textures. I did not download the 4K textures. I right now I, I just don't need them so if we go in here and you go to 4k there's nothing there however i did download textures and the files so right up here where it says neo city png 2k files all of the files are there right so let's go ahead and open up this blend file and everything should be fine Okay, so here's my Neo City. Let's go ahead and change the view to material preview to see if the materials are on there. It'll it'll just be a second. Okay. So here we go. This is not this isn't uh this is well, here it is. I'm going to go, but I'm sorry, I had a lot of caffeine, so that's why I'm like, ah, all right. So what we're going to do is you're going to go up to file. You're going to go to external data and you're going to go to find missing files. So it's trying to find your external files and you are going to point it to the folder that you have the files in. We know that this is going to be in our Kitbash 3D folder. So hold on, let me, I got to hit pause real quick to make sure this doesn't. Uh, crash on me. Okay, I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to crash uh, while I was doing this so it doesn't. Uh, so we're going to go under, what did I say? File, external data, find missing files. As you can see, it's already directed to this folder. All you have to do is go look for the folder. Now, I know that we know that the textures are in Neo City PNG. And click here and I can go find missing files. And if we wait, this should happen or this should work for us <laughs> so i'm still i'm still waiting by the way it's probably should hit i don't know I'm, I'm gonna try not to hit pause so you can see it pop on but this might take a second because it's looking for all of the files uh, let me go ahead and just hit pause really quick because it might go faster and as soon as I hit pause, there are the textures. Now, sometimes if you are bringing these in, so let's look here. Let's look at the viewport shading now. Okay, so now we got this viewport shading. Now I have this black model. Now I have, I just posted a video about how to change this, but as you can see, uh, there's n you can kind of see the textures on here. We just can't see them. That's because there's no light. So if you switch over to here, 
when you replace your textures and you're like, I can't see it. If you look in the scene collection, there are no lights. Now, I am just going to go over here. I have the plugin for Dynamic Sky. It is a free Blender add-on. <clears throat> it comes with Blender. You just have to go in and activate it. I hit Create. And now it's going to say... Uh, so I please select the world name Dynamic 1. I go over to the World tab. I pull this down and Dynamic 1. And there you go. So if you are finding that you have, if your models are looking pink or purple or purplish, pinkish, it's because your files are missing. You may have moved your file. So you may have also saved your file uh, and, and the textures are just in a different place. So you just have to make sure that you are organizing your texture files. The other part of this is that sometimes when you are downloading some of these models, they may not even have textures on them. They just may be regular gray models that the person did not texture them. And in that case, they usually show up gray, but usually that color just means that it's uh, a missing texture file. And you have to go again, let's do one more time. So you would just go to file, external data, go down to find missing files and you just direct it to that folder and make sure that there's stuff in there and you hit accept and it should find all the files. The files should match up to that. I hope this helped you guys like share and subscribe. All right. I'm going to stop talking.